I'll be coughing up sand for a week. But with those new bug snacks, I can just buy new lungs. <laughs> Nice work, pal. Let's go home and we'll count up the spoils. Picantes, picantes, picantes. Picantes, picantes, picantes. 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 How's it nice going? of temptation removed. <laughs> Yet, one still lost in darkness, seeking the light. For only in the light of Mother Nature can the toxin be purged. <gasps> Seek a rasby deep below. A hidden ruin, a maze of trials. Guide this rasby to one's side. Oh, 
once was lost, now is found. The path to light determined. The time has come. Egress from the sandscape. So it is that Shelder survives. was a metaphor. Now to Snacksburg goes me to bring such clarity to my followers. Ah, my grumpy buddy. Us back. Wiggle and Gramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is, one would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Shell Dog. Ah, oh, yes, uh, wisdom. Um, the strength. You seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> When one asks questions, one may receive answers. One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. <gasps> A calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying, they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. A raffle is a metaphor. Uh, but yes. Toxin. The mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around us, beneath us, inside us. Mother Nature! V. 
thee, mother. She, the purest light, from whom all life flows. One cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by example. So it was, one got very, very lost. She, the huntress, is gone from us. Strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes, the sky splits. Look not upon it, move not an inch, or be swallowed by the Queen of Venom. Or so I heard. Everyone is a fraud in a sense. Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found in its mystery. Everything okay? Yum. You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold! The box of purity! Those box snacks placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. <laughs> A wise choice was made. So it is, the light that shines within darkness shines brightest of all. Meditate on this and return one day hence.
Befica! To what do I owe the dishonor? Cut the grump, Cromdo. You're gonna give me a piece of that pie. Psh! And why would I do that? Maybe you're feeling generous. Or maybe you don't want Wambus to see all these pictures of you stealing Triffany's stuff. You sneaky little grump! You give me those pictures right now or I'll... Oh, Wambus! All right, all right, all right, all right! Shh, 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 shh! You win. Take them, Beth. Hand yours over, pal. Oh, no need. I'd never sell up my bestie. <laughs> nice night out. Desserts? Hey, you don't get it, pal. It doesn't matter if I'm honest or dishonest. Either way, I lose out in the end. You think I like being a scumbag? A grifter? A hustler? It's all miserable. Because then, I got some tiny, minuscule chance of living my dream. But I wasn't born rich, and that means I can't afford to be happy. So unless you're gonna buy something, get lost, pal. So it is. The toxins are no more. <gasps> One is pure. One would never be tempted by such poison. This is why one sits in meditation every day for six hours, repeating the mantra. Don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks. And so it is, one never thinks about bug snacks. Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses and peel bugs. This vision must be the will of the mother. So it is. You must bring them to the box of purity. Yep. Um, yep. It's all going well. Um, um. for dragging you into this mess again. I will take care of this issue myself if I weren't so spindly and reclusive. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just ask Chandlo? But I could never do that. Chandlo is far too pure. He's not ready for this world of chaos and turpitude.
Tiffany? What's going on? You want some? Something? Hey, buddy, I've got another surprise for you. Let's go see your hut. I lifted your crib, dog! Woo! That's right. You've got a two floor apartment now. You're really moving up in the world, huh? I was just thinking you've gotten so many presents from the rest of us, you were probably running out of room. <laughs> I even asked Chandlo for a third floor, but he said something about restricted airspace. Uh... Philbro, as mayor of Snacksburg, you really ought to read up on our zoning guidelines. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that. In the meantime, buddy, I can't wait to see what you do with your new place. Grump, yeah, dog! Especially after we send you even more stuff!
are you doing, dog? Wimbone! Everything okay? Buddy, 
Hi. the plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses, and I know he cleans them every day at five. So we'll approach him then, and if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. And obviously Snorpy isn't gonna keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. It's not silly if it works. Snorpy isn't gonna know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Can I, like, ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. Oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah, uh... That? Yes. I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I love you with every fiber of my heart. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Befika, when did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private moment? Uh, bro... She just ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? Chandlo? Anybody? What's up? <sighs> Chandlo buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. <sighs> I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they really are. And like, I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. <sighs> the only upside to being stuck on this island? At least I have bug snacks to keep me company. I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. Can I really trust you? There's plenty of time to find out, but... I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know.
all going well? Another step taken along the path. Return one day hence. Uh, again. Hey, Wiggle. Hey there.
well met. Hello. Yum. Hey, how's the journey? Yum. Yum. How you doing? Going well.
ないだぞ
you took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. My experiment cost an arm and a leg, and nobody else was offering. <laughs> Absolutely not! I'm on the verge of a breakthrough! Now assist me or be gone with you! Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the Snacktivator. The old Snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. <sighs> My body remembers what I eat. The Snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapra to Strabby. <laughs> Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. <laughs> Aha! My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Kokomites.
Good riddance. has changed into more cogamites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Banaba, and Strabby all at once. <laughs>
learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <coughs> The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Buddy. Hey. We are ready to receive your wisdom, O oh great Shelda. Who stands atop the mountain cannot see beneath the waves. So it is one must dive to see the mountain top clearly. Wait a minute, you got bug snacks in you. No, I don't. <laughs> Darling, it's clear as day. Good for you. Change things up a little. Uh, um, uh, the toxin is spreading through the very air. One is tainted by your miasma of snacks. Leave now, so that one may be purified. I don't think that's how it works. Chill, bro. It's a metaphor. Yes, that. Walk in the light of the mother, my children. Yum. 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 Evening. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. 
Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. Snorpington. So, you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpinati scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Lead me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. What? Golly. Nom, nom, nom. Intriguing. They got them. <clears throat> oh, neat. Unbelievable. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that Bugsnax will regrow it in its entirety. 
Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofy said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. No, no, no thanks. That floofty shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. <sighs> Neat. <sighs> Listen up, pal. How you do? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro! Fun to gap with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Hello, Tiffany. Nice to see ya. of the wicked alchemist, they who gladly hasten our doom. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. 
Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Intriguing. Unbelievable. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. <clears throat> Unbelievable. On, Wiggle. Hey, <laughs> hello, darling. <laughs> Got you on the flip side. Got you on the flip side. Hello! 